Thanks for watching the Consumer Lifestyle channel. Today I am going to show you how to easily groom and shape your brows using the Face Made Tweezer Set. Let me show you what comes inside it. In this 100% vegan leather durable and easy to clean case, you will find the five tools inside. They are the slant tweezer, pointed tweezer, pointed slant tweezer, eyebrow razor, and eyebrow scissors. Each item is in their own separate leather pocket, and as you can see, each of the tweezers has a silicone tip cover on them to make them safe for carrying, keep them clean, and to prevent scratches when being taken out. Since the tweezers are made of professional stainless steel. Now before we start working on our eyebrows, it's important to measure them since this indicates where your eyebrow should start and finish. The way you do this is you take a thin stick and place it along the side of your nose and this will tell you where your eyebrow should start. And anything that's on the other side of the stick should be removed. Then take the stick and hold it from the side of your nose alongside until you get the corner of your eye. Then anything on the other side should be removed and that will be where your eyebrow ends. Then take the stick from the side of the nose through your pupil and that will indicate where your arch should One more step before we start working on those eyebrows is you want to make sure that you cleanse them to remove any makeup or oil that's on your skin. After that you want to take a cotton pad, put some warm water on it, and apply it to your eyebrows for a few seconds. This will help soften the follicles in order to gently remove them. Now it's time to start working on those eyebrows. I'm first going to start with the slant tweezer and I'm going to take off the protective silicone cap. Now the slant tweezer is made for stray hairs. These are what is used for the most obvious big hairs that you'll see on your eyebrows to get rid of them. And also before using any of your tweezers, it's important to sterilize them to make sure they are clean to not spread any germs or infection to your eye or the skin around it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm plucking out any of the hairs that were on the other side of the line that we measured earlier. All of them just grab them and quickly pluck them out starting on this side and then we're going to move to the end of the eyebrow. Once you check out in the mirror, you don't want to over pluck. Make sure not to over pluck. Now we go to the end and remove any of the hairs that were on the other side of the line that we measured and just quickly pull them. You always want to pull in the direction of hair growth to minimize any pain. But these tweezers, they're professional stainless steel so they accurately clamp the hair and pull it out from the root and it's really not painful at all. So remember you don't want to over pluck and then if you see any under the brow just any loose ones, just very few. Remember, we don't want to overpluck. And always check yourself out in the mirror. And if you have any smaller hairs that you find you can't grab with this tweezer, we're going to move on to the next tweezer after that to get the rest of the hairs. And the next tweezer I'm moving on to is the pointed tweezer. Let me take off the protective cap. You'll see the point that it comes to on the end. This is for more precision, getting more finer hairs. Again, crucial not to over pluck, just the few. Then we move on to the end, any little fine hairs. The end of the eyebrow has a lot of fine hairs, and we're going to get those. And again, if you find you can't get any hairs with this tweezer, we're moving on to the third tweezer next. So don't try and force it. And if you have any stray hairs that don't come away with the tweezer, just wipe them away with a simple warm cloth. Any of these. And you can wipe away all of the hairs that are there. And then also take a look in the mirror. Stop, take a look. Make sure, again, that we're not over plucking. I can't stress that enough. You never want to over pluck. And also, when you're going above the brow, you want to be very careful when when uh, using the tweezer above the brow 
because you don't want to lose the shape of your eyebrows. So even below, you want to tweeze very carefully. Now I'm moving on to the third tweezer. This is the point slant tweezer. This combines the slant and pointed tweezer into one. You'll see that it has a slant shape, but it also comes to a point at the end. So this is for the really, really tough hairs that you couldn't get with the other two tweezers. You have the accuracy of the point with the slant. Now this tweezer I'm spending probably the least amount of time with. This is for any of those hairs that we've missed with the previous two tweezers. I find it works best with getting those short hairs that are first growing back. And just right here, I'm looking very, very close in a mirror. I'm sure most people wouldn't see it, but I see these little hairs and I just have to get them. But always make sure to take a step back and look at it in the mirror to make sure that you don't overpluck. Overplucking is one of those bad things that you do for your eyebrows that really doesn't help. It makes them very thin. And what we're doing with the tweezers is we're just giving it a shape. Next, we're moving on to the eyebrow scissor. And you can see that even the scissor has the protective silicone cap on it. The scissors have a curved tip design, which allows the scissors to fit easily against the skin and is perfect for trimming eyebrows and even those nose hairs. Now before using the eyebrow scissor, you want to take a brush for your eyebrows known as a spoolie and just comb them up like this. And then you'll see those really long hairs you have. You just want to lightly trim them. Cutting too much can have the same effect that when you tweeze over plucking. When you cut down too short, it can have that same very thin effect. So we're just, I'm just going along the top, just a little bit at a time, and then checking. Because we can always cut more, but once we cut it, we can't put it back. So just cutting any that are standing up way higher than your natural eyebrow. And finally, I'm going to be using the eyebrow razor. The razor has a 180 degree foldable design that is easy to carry and the mesh design to prevent scratches. Now there is some hair which is very fine Sometimes you might not be able to pull it out using the tweezer, and that's why I'm using the razor. So I'll just go around my brows using the razor, and it's going to remove any hair that, again, I couldn't get with the tweezer or couldn't even see with the tweezer. And you want to be so very gentle when doing this, very light strokes, very light. Don't push down hard. We just want to get little hairs. And also be careful to stay under the brow here and, or over the brow. You never want to do it directly on the brow because we can end up with, with, with holes and sparse looking brows. So just very gentle, very light, just a little bit and very, very, very close to the brow, but never touching the brow and then wiping away all of the little hairs that we just razored out. One more time, in case you forgot, this is how my brows looked when I started. Now, let me show you how they look after all of the tweezing and scissors and razor from the Face Made tweezer set. And here we are. The brows look so much better than they did when I started. Everything is nice in line how it should be. We've gotten rid of all the little stray hairs. We've cut the hair down that was too long and I couldn't have done it without the face made tweezer set. It came in handy and was so extremely useful. I will have a link to purchase the face made tweezer set in the description box of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on notifications.